What is going on everybody? Welcome to the what hasn't been the almost daily Paul for the last little while because over the last week we have uh, found an apartment and we were doing all the paperwork and prepping and all of the, the stuff that you need to get, re get ready for, the utilities and all that kind of stuff. We were doing all of that last week and started moving into our new apartment on Friday. For, so for those of you who are watching these videos and you know not just ignoring these, you get a little bit of an insight or a first look, if you will, into that. Because I know, we, I think we mentioned that we would probably be doing an apartment in a video that we did kind of like updating everyone on what we were doing and coming into Orlando and all that. We have in fact found an apartment and are in fact in the process of moving into that apartment and we were doing a little bit of that over the weekend just taking a couple of loads over uh, as we were getting familiar with the place and trying to figure out what we were going to do as far as furniture and stuff because right now it's kind of like we're going back to our uh, you know moving out of the parents home kind of days where we have zero furniture and nothing to move into our apartment so we've been taking care of that kind of stuff like just measuring things and looking at it because we want to really keep it minimalist because as we have lived in the RV, we have learned that we can live with a little, live without a lot more than we think. And uh, I actually showered in the apartment this morning and it drove me crazy that I couldn't turn off the water, that the water just kept pouring out whether I was soaping up or not. So that's something I might wanna fix just because it just seemed to me like a huge waste of water. I may go and get a shower head that I can turn off when when I'm showering I've just got so used to that over the last five or six years where you know you get wet turn off the water soap up put on the shampoo single rinse and you're done so there's very little use or waste of the water anyways and obviously in most homes and in apartments there isn't that and I want to continue to do that because I just feel like there's no use in wasting the water right yeah that's that's what we've been doing over the last uh, few days I am going in today this is sunday as you're seeing this sunday august what uh 22nd so sunday august 22nd as you see this it will be monday august 23rd but today is sunday august 22nd and it is my sixth week sixth week here at disney and have yet to touch a bus i'm still doing audience control wearing this thing walking around like a human pylon and doing what they call audience control. Uh, just helping guests get to the proper buses, showing them around, making sure they're staying safe and not running out in front of buses. Yes, people do that. And that sort of thing. So this is the start of week six. I'm hoping within this next few days we get a call that uh, tells us that we start training or get an email that is that we start training the following week. There were only one of the people last week in our fifth week one of our fifth week people got their email to say they're getting called up. So hopefully that'll happen this week. It's gonna be brutally hot today or over the next few days. The whole uh, real feel thing, you know, the temperature here is 92 degrees, but with humidity, they put a real feel temperature of, I don't know, 187 or something like that. It's brutally hot. Uh, it's like 104 right now, and I think it's supposed to be up to 107 today. So standing outside in that is pretty brutal for six and a half hours that we're here. But for the most part, it's been helping me lose a little bit of weight, if not just water weight. I'm down over 10 pounds just from when I started working at Disney and down about 20 pounds from my start of my adventure there with my high blood pressure thing. So I was around 195 when I started this whole thing and down right now around 183. So feeling really good about that. Blood pressure continues to be okay, uh, right around mid 120s, you know, 120 to 125 to 80 to 85, somewhere around in there. And there's days where it dips down really below that, and there's days where it seems to be uh, in that, you know, closer to the 130, 90 range. Or I shouldn't say days, it should seem to like certain measurements. But if I do an average, I'm staying like a, th a three test average in the course of uh, a testing when I sit down to test, which has been now once every other day or so. It's it's between 120 and 125, the averages, and then uh, 80 to 85 on the bottom line. So for the most part, it's been really, really good. Uh, I have been not been perfect on my salt intake. And I think I mentioned that before, but uh, we're, we're gonna continue to work on that. Uh, 
make sure that we're continuing to to maintain that because I really don't want to get this thing back out of control again. Don't want to do that. So that's it. That's uh, that's all I've got for you today. I want to keep this nice and short. Maybe at the end of this, I'll edit in a quick shot from the apartment before I go. So I won't finish this right now, and then I'm probably going to forget to finish it tonight. But let me just leave you guys with a little bit of a uh, brain tease and then we'll maybe slide into the apartment. Alright, I promise you guys a quick sneak peek at the apartment. It's a mess. Check it out. That's all you get. Alright, so obviously that was last night and this is this morning, but you're getting a couple little sneak peeks of the apartment, but Hopefully you'll stick around with us and get to know us a little bit, learn a little bit about what's going on here in Orlando, and that means they have to... Subscribe! That's right, hit that subscribe button. It'd be equally as cool if you liked this video, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Bye now. Adios! You're not allowed to talk, you're not on video, you're not on camera. All right. All right. It's your pole video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people would love to see you, but I can't show her right now.